सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड यूर वॉचिंग कोमल टाया सो गाइज इन द लास्ट वीडियो बेसिकली आई जस्ट कम्प्लीटेड सेकेंड ऑर्डर परटर्बेशन इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द थेरी पार्ट और द एजुकेशन पार्ट सो आई कम्प्लीटेड दैट एंड देर देर वॉज ऑल्सो वन स्ट्रैटेजी वीडियो फॉर रिविजन स्ट्रैटेजी बेसिकली राइट सो दैट वॉज कम्प्लीट सेकेंड ऑर्डर परटर्बेशन दैट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड अगैन वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इन दिस वीडियो that that is going to be a variational principle right so let's see what that principle is about and uh, how to solve its question so i'll be taking uh, approximately six question basis on that and we'll be discussing it and after that we'll be covering huckel's molecular orbital theory right so uh, let's start without delaying and let's see what uh, what it it is all about right so uh, this is variational principle you can see over screen this is variational principle right and guys i have written some things in hindi so just ignore it for people who can understand hindi it's well and good but people who are not able to understand it i'll be explaining it in english so don't worry right because these are my coaching notes and uh, sometimes pe uh, teacher used to speak in hindi so i used to write in hindi only so uh, that's it uh, so i'm going to start variational principle so guys remember when we were talking about approximation system approximation system we talked about uh, th three methods like when uh, deviation when 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 there is deviation from ideality we talk about perturbation why do we use perturbation method because when there is deviation from reality from the, like when a system is not completely like this right so if it is perturbed like this or this or anything as like this right so it's like that when it is like schrodinger equation can be applied to this but not to these and these right so then comes approximation system so first was perturbation system right perturbation method and second is variational principle right and third is wkb method which is not in our syllabus right and so variational principle is there so we'll discuss variational principle and you know in first order perturbation when deviation was small we used to uh, we used to use uh, first order perturbation and very if uh, deviation is little bit more which like if uh, first order perturbation comes out to be zero then we use uh, second order perturbation right and from that also if we if if we see that deviation is very very large then we use this variation principle then variation principle comes into play and it is one of the uh, approximation method we use right so what happens this this principle you can see uh it is applicable for these problems in which hamiltonian is known known but neither it can be solved exactly by schrodinger equation nor by any closer hamiltonian to this ha uh, hamiltonian is solved exactly so basically meaning of this statement is if schrodinger equation is not able to solve is, is not able to give solution for any system remember particle in 1d box right in particle in 1d box we have this well defined system and this is the ideal system when we apply schrodinger equation we get solution for it then we find then we find a uh, wave function basically from schrodinger equation we can tell the property of uh, any system like we can define a uh, wave function then we can calculate energies and kinetic energy all these thing with the help of that clear but here when the deviation from ideality is very high then we use this system and schrodinger equation fails there so then what we use there basically then we use this trial and error method so this is like a, a trial like we just take one random trial wave function right and it is generally considered as a alternate sh to uh, schrodinger equation so it is one alternate method like where schrodinger equation fail we just use this trial error method and it is considered as the alternate to schrodinger equation clear and now this statement is very important you know once i don't know in gate or in net one question was asked on this on this statement only that which of the method is uh, alternate to schrodinger equation superposition principle variational principle and uh, 
two uh, three uh, like uh, four options were there and you need to mark one thing so there you tend to confuse because you don't know so you should know about the variational principle right it is alternative schrodinger equation and it was one of the question so it's not like that you skip the theory part theory part is also important right so always remember it is trial and error method we take one approximate always remember approximate wave function you can call it approximate wave function fine i'm writing over here or trial wave function or i'm writing over here or trial wave function both have same meaning like we take random function and when, when then we try to define it the then we try it uh, define it on the basis of properties i'll tell you uh, later on in the uh, later phase of this video right uh, uh, okay fine so that's it for uh, this basic theory of this one right so let's move to more detailed part of this this thing like again it involves four step i'm i've written here the theory wise part like based on physical intuition we just choose randomly a trial wave function right we'll just take one imaginary or trial wave function not imaginary part i'm just taking the english imaginary right not that complex part clear so uh, it can also include that but for now i mean i meant that only uh, with the taking of number of physical parameters so we'll take all parameters into consideration and we'll make this wave function that is symmetry like how like what is the symmetry and how many nodes are there its behavior at infinity and its boundary condition what are the boundaries where it is bound to move right and for this uh, observing the unknown property and to minimize the energy we take vari variational parameter so we'll be using these these parameter these are called uh, uh, variational parameter guys when i'll be discussing the question these thing will be more clear to you but i'm giving you a very uh, rough idea because i can't just go into very deep part of this at that at this time right so we'll be taking alpha beta gamma right and our wave function will be in term of that only it can be other thing also but we usually if we have to choose we can take in terms of this and it is uh, it will be in term it these will be called variational parameters right so this is the thing about it and i'll be telling you what we have to do next so next we have to uh, we have to just actually calculate the energy right because if we need to we need to find all the parameters of an of any system right so now we have defined wave function like any trial wave function now we need to find the energy right so energy will be the same formula if i have to find the average value of energy it would be integration psi h like hamiltonian the total energy psi d tau divided by psi psi d tau i i told you if the function is normalized you will ignore this part if people who are following me following me from the very start they know that if function is normalized if function is normalized then this thing will be equal to only this psi h psi d tau clear and the boundary condition whatever it is meant to move within right and uh, obviously if my wave function is in terms of alpha beta gamma my energy will also be come in terms of alpha beta or gamma right then what will happen our energy will end up looking like in terms of alpha beta and gamma right so what we'll do next if it is is, is in terms of like that so i'll be telling you one more thing that now we need to find these values like how if my energy is in terms of alpha beta or gamma like this if energy is in terms of something like this alpha or something beta divided by something gamma then i should know the value of alpha beta gamma then only i can put it into it and i can find the energy right so what i'll do if i want to find the value of this variational parameters so i'll just simply take whatever energy i have solved like if i want to find alpha so what i'll do i'll take the differentiation of energy with respect to alpha and i'll put it equal to 0 fine and then i'll be able to get the value of alpha similarly for beta if you want want to find out the value of beta then you'll put uh, del e you will differentiate energy with respect to beta and will equate it, it equate it equal to 0 and similarly for gamma like de by d gamma is equal to 0 and it can be in terms of anything guys suppose examiner is giving you in terms of x y z anything can be there in terms of alpha beta gamma right so just uh, be prepared for that so okay let's go down to one more thing now i have the value of alpha beta gamma right so i have value of alpha beta gamma so what i'll do 
alpha beta gamma i have the value and i had one energy formula in terms of alpha beta and gamma i'll put those value of alpha beta gamma in this formula energy formula suppose my alpha is coming 4 beta is coming 5 and gamma is coming 6 fine just take one example then i'll be for, uh, i'll be putting the value of alpha beta gamma in energy and i'll be able to get the minimum energy right and one more thing guys there is one condition for this trial wave function uh, always remember always remember this is very important thing that like examiner always ask question in terms of this only that whatever trial wave function will be there its energy listen to me carefully whatever trial wave function will be there its energy will be always greater or equal to exact energy of that state remember fine if exact energy is there then whatever trial function we will take that will be its energy will be greater than equal to the exact energy fine greater than equal to either it can be greater or it can be equal clear so let's just see more things about this two more points are there clear so let me just take that yeah so yeah it's it's there okay one more thing is there jitna trial wave function ki energy pass jayegi exact energy ke utna hi better function hota obviously guys i want to uh, describe this point in english that obviously if my trial wave function will approach more to exact energy suppose suppose exact energy is 50 and trial wave energy is 52 and uh, then my another trial wave another system is there and its energy is 51 i'll prefer this one because difference is less because it should my system if i'm taking any imaginary thing right suppose i am there and i want to make clone of myself so that clone should be exactly like me then only it can match me right obviously like that if you are taking any system and if you want to take one imaginary system trial wave function so its energy should maximum like maximum uh, it should be maximum uh, similar to it right so are you getting my point like it should be very much similar to it so basically its difference like uh, less will be its difference more it will be good fine so that means a trial wave function energy should be very much closer to the exact energy and that's uh, like that much better the function would be clear so now let's come down to the last point it's very important point so pay attention over it so according to it if uh, if uh, exact energy if exact energy is given for uh, first excited state suppose first excited state exact energy is given for first excited state and you need to find the trial wave function so that energy should correspond to only first excited state you won't calculate the trial wave energy you want you will not be calculating the trial uh, wave uh, trial wave function energy for second excited state or ground state fine guys always remember states should be corresponding to each other not like you are finding about first excited state and you are talking about second excited state obviously things will contradict each other right so don't get confused for it uh, and one time there was one question regarding to this only right so take care state should be same and when i'll be discussing the question things will be more clear to you that what i'm talking about how things how state should be same or how should we solve the question i'll be telling you exactly just remember this condition that e phi or e trial wave function fine i'm just taking the trial wave function as phi fine it should be greater than equal to e exact and the difference of this trial wave function and e exact should be very less right should be very less like the lesser it would be better it would be clear so basically if i have to write like this the difference e phi minus e exact should be very less clear and if we need to find about uh, that trial wave function and if we need to find out the trial wave function belongs to which state then uh, what we'll do whatever trial wave function will be there suppose trial wave function is in term of this 3 minus r or e minus r by 2 like that so what we'll do we'll just equate it equal to 0 fine and then we'll find out that how many nodes are there fine we'll find out how many nodes are there so if we get to know that how many nodes are there we can get to know that which state it can belong to basically you know 
like if we know if we know about how many knots are there we can calculate about n we'll be discussing that example don't worry so i think uh, i think i have explained the theory part everything about theory part which is necessary for your exam and uh, i hope everything is clear to you if you have any doubt please feel free to use the comment section you can drop your query to the telegram group and i hope you guys you are doing your revision revision well and uh, i think i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye and take care bye